Hello everyone and welcome back to this epilogue of our Malian Let's Play. Uh, just a moment here. Right, so that was the national anthem. Um, so let's see here. Turn up the music just slightly. I guess that's fine. So I know this is a bit early compared to where we normally end, but I do feel this Let's Play has reached its um, its conclusion, basically. We have all of South America, and we have pretty much all of Africa as well. Except, of course, the stuff here in the Ottomans and the Comoros. We could just wait a couple of years to get this. Uh, they will over time accept. Just like, give it to me. But, you know, I think it's okay. Um, so, let's start by looking at the ledger and see how we did. I did let the game run for one tick, so it should be fine. Income-wise, uh, second place, just behind, well, not just behind, but behind Dodgements. Still 1200 12, bucks before expenses, so that's decent. Oh, Dodgements are swimming in money. Manpower, we have a lot of manpower. Damn. Even more than Dodgements, that's hmm, weird. Uh, we are getting a lot from our colonies, of course. Tech, I don't think we have all the tech because we didn't play until the end. Nope. But we are on par, so yeah, that's good. Government's not important. Score, uh, third place. Great Britain beating us by a couple of thousands, and the Ottomans <laughs> beating everyone by a whole lot. Damn, that's insane. They are, yeah, this timeline, Ottomans, uh, they are whack. We got zero points in discovery, almost a thousand in reformation. 3,500 in absolutism and uh, almost 7,000 re in revolutions. So that's pretty good. Okay, how much do you. Okay, I see. Uh, religion. Sunni is the largest religion in terms of provinces. Not in countries, just behind Protestantism, right. And we are defender of the faith. Anyone with zero? Yeah, a bunch. Hussite, of course. Uh, not important, not interesting. Uh, nah. Military leaders? Eh, we have a couple. Military leaders was never our forte in this uh, let's play. Current rulers? Not interesting. Previous rulers? Oops, let's do this instead. We, had her, we have had the Keita family on the throne through the ages. Uh, yeah. Mahmoud. Let's see, who was our best leader? That's 12 from Muhammad the first. 12 from Ali Salil the second. Mm, 11. Uh, I think 12 is the highest. So, yeah, not great leaders. Average. Jesus, he was crap. Musa the Musa the third. Not important quality. We have the most morale in the world. C Cuba just behind. Damn. Discipline. Also the highest discipline though, tied with Tim the Timurids and Scandinavia. Siegeability relatively high. Defensiveness not that high. Professionalism not that high. Tradition pretty high. Armies uh, third largest. We could of course build a much larger army if we wanted. Uh, but this is fine. Force limit is whack for the Ottomans. Full quantity, their ambitions, or oh, their ambition. Grand army, yeah. Naval, yeah. Losses, uh, 2.4, not that bad. Ottomans, almost 15 million. <laughs> Jesus. Naval losses, not interesting. Income, Taxation, second place, 200. Production, second place, 465. Trade, second place, 460. Gold, first place, by 65, roughly. No, wait, what? Oh, right, that's Peru, second place. <laughs> also us. Uh, but overall, yeah, second place, so not too shabby, considering our very rough start. We have almost converted everything. We have caught almost everything. And we, have produ we have a lot of cultures here. Producing a lot of livestock, grain, slaves, ivory, fish. Uh, 
trade nodes. Mm, Ivory Coast, and that's our home node. The highest in the world. Not too bad. Strategic goods. We are sitting on all the slaves. And almost all the ivory. Decent amount of coffee. Decent amount of gold. Dice, cocoa. Not touching fur, clothes, or china wear at all. The Osmans also have a lot of control. It's basically us and the Osmans controlling the world trade. And almost the world here. Uh, right, trade. Well, second place. Mechanism 100. That's pretty good. Though I, I should remember in the future when we are playing with colonies and where we actually want to gain some coins <laughs> from the colonies, you shouldn't take any mercantilism at all. Make them all pissed off. Um, anything else? I think that's it. A war, right? Great powers. We are the first in great powers, so that's pretty nice. Subjects giving us a decent amount of development. All right, cool beans, cool beans. Let's look at a um, at the map mode. The empire is eh, a bit wrecked. Religion, Catholicism, staying strong in Scandinavia and the Iberian Peninsula and in Commonwealth area, but yeah, they're being absorbed. Sunni Islam spreading across the globe. Uh, in due time, all of this will be called, will of course become Sunni. And, uh, yeah, the Osmans are not really converting, which is, I guess, historical accurate, of course. They also have that plus uh, tolerance of heretics, no, heathens, rather. But uh, Anglican slash Protestant North America, Orthodox Russia, uh, yeah, of course, uh, India also, Muslim-dominated, but they're still Hindu, mostly. Shia, though, so that's the wrong one. Um, Shinto Japan, Korea, Confucian Ming, or, well, China. <laughs> and a big mess down here in Australia. Alright, uh, culture-wise, we didn't really do much. I think we did a bit of a culture converting here and there, but, uh, yeah, not that crazy. Um, anything interesting in Europe? Oh, uh... Okay, Polish has spread a bit here, right? In Slovakia. Mm, Novgorodian removed the Estonian culture or whatever. It's, I think it's Estonian up here, right? Uh, I guess that's sort of it. And I guess this seems fine. I'm not really sure, again, the cultures outside of Europe where they're supposed to be. Brazilian spread down here, yep. And uh, map modes, anything else interesting? Wise? Uh, monarchy. And republics, right, not that interesting. Keita, Osmanoglu. Revolution, well, headquarters in Klebis or whatever it's called. E yeah. Mostly in Europe, a bit down here in our neck of the woods. Anything else? Hmm, I think that's sort of it. Great powers. Not sure how interesting that is. Tech wise, green all over except a few down here. Hmm. Yeah. Alright, let's. Um, Let's do a timeline. We are here.
Right, so that was the timeline of our Mali Let's Play. I think we have uh, covered all the bases here in terms of this campaign. So there's only left for me to say thank you for watching and following. If you've enjoyed this Let's Play, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell button. I very much appreciate your, su your support. And a big extra thanks to my channel members. Mike Murray, Tim Marino, Wiscomad, Jeffrey Henderson, Jonathan Crane, Confused Insurgent, and Ossie Mandias. Thanks again, and I hope I see you all in the next one.